what is up it's a Kamel. and apparently there's people targeting youtubers creators online people and it's interesting because i got a 600 hundred dollar offer and i was reading the email and when i found out and exposed this person for having viruses viruses that steal passwords and just a bunch of other things account passwords everything bank information person got pretty upset with me and told me our company will sue you for libel our lawyer will contact you shortly you will regret your words while i'm waiting it wouldn't be the first time So what I'm going to do is take you through the email conversations, which is not long, and I'm going to show you how they tried to pull me in and set me up. And I'm going to take you over to the virtual machine, which isn't hard to set up, but it's just like basically it's like a, a, a virtual computer set up within a computer. So it's like I have another Windows operating system, but what I do on there is not going to affect what's going on on my actual computer. It's a small partition I made on the hard drive. And, uh, you know, there it's safer to actually run programs, run tests, and you don't have to worry about your password is getting stolen and all that stuff because I haven't signed in or done any of my banking or nothing on the virtual machine. Email conversations basically started like this. I got an email this morning from somebody named Megan Scott. Now you need to look at, it's probably a fake name. Uh, it came from a Gmail account and that's kind of important to know because when you go to the website, the company email is not from Gmail. So that's one of the things you have to pay attention to is you should highlight the name of a person. But anyway, it says my name is Megan. I'm a representative of the Zap team. We created something video editor Zap editor. We do not quite understand how much this can cost and what we can budget in our advancement. Yada, yada. Sounds nice. So I replied simple. All I said was I'd love to try. I like to do editing. Boom. All right. Very simple. And you let them go on and on and on and, on and talk. So hi, thanks for being interested and for the offer of our cooperation, we want to offer you advertising for our product on your YouTube channel, 30, 45 seconds uh, of a pre-roll integration, yada, yada, a couple minutes said that their estimated budget for the ad campaign is $600. Once you click the link, which you might not want to click the link, it's probably not advisable to click links, you know where it's taking you, but I'm curious. <laughs> so it took me to this crappy looking kind of whatever file PDF, you take the link. You highlight it and it's going to take you to the website. It's a very professional looking website. The thing that caught my eye was their system requirements. When they said a 1.5 gigahertz and a dual core processor is the minimum requirement for the thing. I was like, that's kind of low. And then when it said two gigs of RAM, I was like, two gigs of RAM is pretty low too. And the screen resolution was kind of weird to me also. 1280 by 768. A couple of things that were weird. And anyway, but it looks very nice and professional. Okay. Nice setup. You got the nice little video thing here. You hit download. Here's the issue. They password protected this zip file. Zip file is a compression form of files. It makes the files a little smaller. Why did they compress it? Why did they password protect this? Uh, I believe it's because a lot of antivirus programs, they're not going to be able to scan it unless you open the zip and you extract the file, you run the file. So they password protect it. So if you take this now and you run it on some virus scanners, they might not pop up. When I open this, a vast did pick this up, but you're going to be surprised when we get to the virtual machine, how much pops up on this. So my response, and I, I, have, I didn't even have many words to say to these people. I said, nice try with the virus. I sent him a winky face. This person gets upset. Leave your ridiculous arguments to yourself and do insult me and the company I represent without owning information. Have a nice day. So I wrote back to them. I said, oh, I'll be making a video on what you're doing. No worries. Every time somebody types the name in, they'll know the truth. Have a nice day, Megan. And that's where we got to the whole, our company will see you for a libel. I thought there's an actual company. Uh, our lawyer will contact you shortly. You will regret your words. Like who talks like that, right? Like you're going to regret your words. If you're an actual professional company and you're applying to my emails, you're going to regret it. Your words We're coming for you. And they never send anything else after that. I'm still waiting for the lawyers. I want to show you the difference right now. We're on my regular computer on virus total, which runs a files on multiple virus scanners, like multiple detections. It's a great tool. It's free. So I want to show you why they encrypted this and they zipped this file, even though they provided you with the password, but the virus scanners on your computer might not be able to read what's inside of the zip until you actually extract it. And sometimes it might be too late once you extract it, but we're running this on this site, right? I have super fast internet on here and undetected. I've actually, I've actually run this test before. Nothing, right? Nothing's detected. Now let me take you to the virtual machine when I run the individual files that are in the zip on VirusTotal. So here we're on the virtual machine and these are the individual files within the zip file. Okay. We got the web 
setup exe and we got the other dot net file so we're putting it to virus total okay and while that runs the whole setup on this computer that well the virtual machine is a lot slower but look how it starts off oh this was this was the one i ran previously let me run the other file i didn't even run the other file yet virus total oh it's going kind of slow here it's probably because now there's a bunch of viruses on the virtual machine <laughs> can't even run a detection now oh, there we go okay here we go let's choose the file so watch the .NET framework confirm upload and this is really why you can't be intimidated by people you know if you know you're right don't let them try to scare you there's a bunch of um, malicious viruses trojans all kinds of stuff to gain access and then you see here win32 pw which probably stands for password i wouldn't be surprised that it grabs all your banking information saved all your little auto save stuff off of the computer you know if you're using youtube and some other social media platforms and um you're an influencer you should at the very least use double authentication doesn't mean you're foolproof but 19 engines detected for some reason it's not showing me why details there we go load it up load it up so if you got an issue with me bring it send your lawyers whatever fake lawyers you got send it it's not hard to find me online anyway send it yeah some how many verses are there something that 26 plus 19 I have to open the calculator for that. I could tell you. <laughs> I might know all this stuff, but 26 plus 19. Can't really think right now. 45. Yeah. We're going to get you for a little. Oh, and I guess I should show you what happens when you click the files, right? Well, the web set up, does it actually take you to install the video editor? What happens? I'll tell you yes. What happens? What does it do? Where does it take us? Nowhere does nothing probably just installs all its little viruses in the background that's nice what happens when you click dot net framework huh? i wonder what happens with that hmm. you click it oh it just deletes itself well maybe we should now click the web setup and maybe now the web setup will work maybe you had to do a reverse clicking of the clickings to install it nothing nothing at all well thanks for watching man appreciate you guys peace